and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, then please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this DIY Dollar Tree stacked jack-o'-lanterns. I think that it turned out really cute and this is actually a Pier 1 dupe. So I'm going to insert a picture of my inspiration here. And I really like how mine turned out and it was a lot cheaper than $100. The supplies I'm using are three foam pumpkins a maple leaf floral stem, paint in the colors of orange, yellow, white, and black, or a black Sharpie marker can be used instead of the black paint. And also I'm going to be using foam brushes and a paintbrush. I am going to be using black and white spray paint, which this step is optional. I just prefer it because it dries a lot faster. So now let's get started. I first take my pumpkins and I remove the stems. And then I take my brown paint and a little bit of white paint and I mix them together to make it a bit lighter of a brown. And then I paint my pumpkin stems and I just set them to the side so they will dry. I did take one of my larger foam pumpkins outside and spray it with black spray paint. I did do this after I removed the stem and of course the tag. After my black spray painted pumpkin dried, I took my white paint and a small uh, paintbrush and I freehanded a jack-o'-lantern face. And I did do a couple coats of the white paint just so there wasn't any black showing through the white paint. Next I took the smallest foam pumpkin and the other larger foam pumpkin and I spray painted them with a white spray paint primer. After that paint dried I did take the larger foam pumpkin and I went ahead and painted it with the color jack-o'-lantern by Martha Stewart. It is an acrylic paint. Now for the orange pumpkin I took some of my yellow paint which is called Dark Yellow by Craftsmart and I went ahead and I just put a couple streaks around my pumpkin and I did take a paper towel and wipe this off. I just wanted to give it a little bit more definition than just the orange paint. So next I took my black paint and my small paint brush and I'm going to paint the face onto my pumpkin and I am painting the face at the top of the pumpkin where the stem would go. At this step you can use the black sharpie marker if you want but I am going to be using my paint and paintbrush. And I only did paint one coat of the black paint. Now I'm going to take the stem and put some hot glue on it and place it back into my pumpkin and this is going to be my jack-o'-lantern's nose. Now I'm going to take my smallest foam pumpkin and I'm going to paint it in the color Dark Yellow by Craftsmart. And I did have to paint this pumpkin a couple of coats to get a full coverage of the yellow paint. Once that was dry, I took my black paint and I painted on my jack o lantern face. And then I also took the stem and I hot glued it back to the top of the pumpkin. So now it is time to assemble my pumpkins together and I'm going to stick them together by using a toothpick. I am placing it on the bottom of the orange pumpkin and then I'm going to place it inside the top part of the black pumpkin. I'm going to use another toothpick and stick it through the bottom of the yellow small pumpkin and then I'm going to take the toothpick and poke it through the top of the orange pumpkin. The final step is adding my maple leaves from the maple leaf stem and I'm going to go ahead and add those to my stack of jack-o'-lanterns. I just love how this turned out. It turned out really cute and this will be great displayed for fall or Halloween. If you like this as much as I do, then give this video a thumbs up. Also, I'm going to be doing another Pier 1 dupe, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.